Hey guys, it's SK Gale. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we made it deeper into Redcliffe. And let's go check on what's going on in the castle up for ourselves. And it is lagging. What the? Tegan? What in the balls? <laughs> oh my word. Poor Tegan. Whoa. That that look in his face was like creepy. Hi. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, mother. Y yes, Connor. Connor. This is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. Now it's staring at me. What is it, mother? Whoa, you're calling me an it. This I would shoot you in the head if I could. This is a woman, Connor. I'm not a she woman, per se. I'm just a female. This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Whoa. Connor, I beg you, don't hurt anyone. Ma mother what? What? Oh, what's hello. happening where am i oh thank the maker oh connor. he's gone connor can you hear me goodbye get away from me fool woman you are beginning to burn <laughs> her face Wait, warden. please don't oh, i should have captured that he is not responsible for what he does so he Wait, you've been protecting him this entire time? Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. It was a fair deal. <sighs> father. Your eyelashes are going through your head, boy. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. <sighs> Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. <laughs> oh my god. Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting. Didn't I? Yes, I did. Let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Your lips Tell are us, very weird. Woman, what have you come here for? I... I was hoping to find Pat Tegan? Uncle? But Uncle Tegan is real. Say hello, Uncle. Hello, Uncle. <sighs> Dear Uncle was very full of himself earlier He's today. just so funny. I think being a jester rather suits him. Don't you, Mother? I... I don't think... I actually have to agree that she doesn't Ever since think. you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. Whoa. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. Whoa. And now, she'll repay me. Calm down, Demon Connor thing. <laughs> Tegan's neck looked like he was broken. Okay, let me... Where is Tegan? I was gonna say. Yes, we actually have to fight these guys. Why do I think that we'll unpause it? Tegan, are you... I was gonna say, are you gonna stand up and... Or are you gonna just let me sit and kill you? I mean, that would've been nice, but... Somehow... There's an amazing... I hope I can get... There's like a glitch where... If you try to... There's like a critical chance that where you behead him and then the following cutscene he is, still has his head like where where where, where? how i thought he beheaded you okay done with you now done with you now tegan die well not die die but go down please let's make this quick it's like it takes forever there now I can focus on that guy. Look at that one. They're called people. They're 
Rory. There are people. Think. Are you in me? I don't think Alistair will approve of that later. What can I? Oh, you got that guy. Rory, how are you surviving? I have no idea. Very well. Ah, I forgot the injury cake. Give me. It. I need that. Oh. Whoa. Oh, she like glitched right there. Right? It's like glitch. I am. What? Better now, I think. Like. <laughs> my mind is my own again. I'm surprised there's not like a, an arrow sticking out of his head. I would never have forgiven myself if you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. My there cat's must like be some way we can save him. Trying to Qu would you quit trying to play with me? You knew about this all along. I Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my Whoa, hi Jowen. Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You you did this to Connor! Whoa! I didn't! I didn't summon any demon! Calm I down, Isold. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! <sighs> I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? She technically brings up an Is idea. The you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assume the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. He's so old. This is one reason I hate her. She's just so caught up in her being high and mighty and trying to keep Connor from going to the circle. I can see where she comes from, but the fact that she won't let anyone, including Jowen, help to try to keep him safe. Like, I'm sure Jowen could get the demon out of him, but she refuses. She just is blinded by... I don't know what it is anymore, but Isol just is one of those characters I hate. After playing through it, you just get sick of her just whining about nobody helping her son. And then when someone like Jowen comes and says he can help, she refuses it. She's very temperamental. Or emotion. I don't know. <sighs> Jacob. Drea would feel like I am right now. She would just hate his old. He's no more to blame than you are, Lady Isold. How dare you! Whoa! B if claws are up. hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. He should be executed. Uh huh. Your secrecy made his actions. Tegan's on my side, Isold. But I. I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You Whoa, hired the maid Tegan to is keep mad. Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. Oh, if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Oh, my God. Jowen, what can you add to this discussion? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. Uh-oh. But there is another way. Hmm? A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon hmm. approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. Huh. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. Hmm. It normally requires Lyrium and, and several mages. But I have blood magic. Ugh. You think I'd look... Yeah, Jail would hate blood magic. 
She just would. Blood magic is forbidden. It's not an option. If there's a way, I must know it. Please. <sighs> you sold, you dumb dumb. Miriam provides the power for the ritual, but I take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. Oh my so, god. Someone must die. No. Someone must be sacrificed. I will sacrifice to myself yes. if and I then could. we send <laughs> another mage into the Fane. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Oh my god. Then let it be my what? blood. Yes! I will be the sacrifice. Ah, uh, yes! What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, hmm. the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Exactly. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It, uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about I such do? things than I do, and it's your companion going into the fade. The decision is yours. <sighs> there must be another way to enter the fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi. If they would even do it. Quit being laggy. The Circle Tower is not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mage's help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I will take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. The thing that's weird is you can be... Like, you could go everywhere. Take care of, like... What are you? Why does everyone have their... Stuff out? Okay, that is so weird. Whoa, I am lagging. Oh, that's how I toggle run. It's, it's a different button now. It is still. We must not exhaust our supplies. <sighs> I hate suits of armor. They're actually a pain in the butt. Whoa, we are surrounded. I want everyone to focus on one armor. How these suits of armor are not. Are, how they're moving, I have no idea. Wait! Oh, I know. It's Connor! They look like King Kalen! We're fighting King Kalen! Well, his armor. Except his armor was gold. Or yellow, or whatever color. Watch out! You need to have one of those. I have one of those. No quarter shall be given. Of course. Defend yourself. Come on. Oh. I was like, why am I not attacking somebody? Creatures come from. They're not creatures, they're just suits of armor. Victory will be ours. That's dead. Uh, 
Get out of here. Exactly. Get out of here. Oh my god, that suit of armor. Missed. Let's make this quick. Woohoo! I can trick you off. How is the suit of armor groaning, by the way? Doink. Ah! Hmm. Does that magic? No. I can always buy it back, I think. No, and I don't want the chainmail. I can buy stuff. This is just so weird. I'm just clicking go. I'll go back to camp and see what happens, and then I'll go to Denerum, surprisingly. Maybe that will set off lots of space. I hope it does, because I really want to replace. As much as I'd like to, I'd like to just go with at least a couple rogues. At least until I get win. But I usually use more again anyhow as my mage. Then I usually ro rotate out my third character because I'm, I'm just 100% for bringing Alistair with everywhere because I don't know why. Because I'm just 100% Alistair. Because <laughs> he's adorable. When Alistair talks, tell me you don't just go weak in the knees or whatever. Let's go to camp. I need to sell a lot of stuff. Maybe Morgan and them leveled up so I can activate theirs. But I have to, like, go to somewhere else. Like, go straight back to Redcliffe, activate it, and all that fun stuff. <sighs> Do, 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 I lied to you, you know. Whoa. About why I left Orle. So you didn't get tired of the life? In a way I did. <laughs> but Gilmore's these feelings like... were triggered by events mm. which I did not tell you about. I didn't feel like talking about it then. What happened to me? Maybe it will affect us. Maybe not, but you should know. Uh oh. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orle. <gasps> Hunt Hunted? What for? I was framed. Betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. Uh. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic art. She yeah, is just so attentive and her boobs and look like they're to sagging. Carry myself like a highborn lady to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her and because I enjoyed what I did. You were dutiful, so you were dutiful, but you've still got in trouble. You can say it was my fault. <laughs> there was a man I was sent to kill. Rory. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave Rory, me Rory, you're scaring me with what you're lo how you're looking down. at me. I found documents on his body, sealed documents. You opened them, didn't you? My curiosity got the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds so of pretty. information about all I can't get over how pretty I am. Nevara and Antiva, among others. Whoa. It was treason. Isn't this what bards do? Some. But I have <laughs> always Stens. seen Marjolaine in fact, they're just within Orle. Twitching every now and then. This was an What is Rory look doing? My life has barred. That my Rory's just staring at me. It. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries. It takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. Most countries... 
Didn't you give these documents to someone? To Marjolaine. No one else. I resealed them and gave them to her, as she had instructed. Hmm. I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. Hmm. I believed her. I kept believing <sighs> up till the moment they showed me the documents altered by uh -oh. her hand to make me look the traitor. She betrayed you? Yes. The Orlesian guards. They captured me. Did <gasps> to make I am just one of her Galiliana now. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. And at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. How did you get out? The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. <laughs> if she I cannot get over Gilmore back her, there. It's just she would have me caught again. And so you came to Fraud and to Lothering. I was tempted to confront her. I was furious. Oh, is bad. But what could I do against her? <laughs> and so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, oh, and the Maker saved my soul. Why do they look so sad soul. when they say that? And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. <sighs> you will be safe in my company. It feels good to have this off my chest. Thank you for listening and understanding. Yeah, Jaya would be completely understanding. And I thought that they would bond over shoes, but this, oh my word. Every time I just hear Liliana's story, like, it just makes me love her even more. It's just like, ah, ah. It makes me almost want to become a human noble and romancer. Well, I can romance her as a female, but just friends are formidable folk, indeed. Good to have you along on the road. Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods, my boy. <sighs> Time to sell stuff. Sell all these daggers. Sell all these short bows. <laughs> sell all these helmets. I said sell. Thank you. Whoa, we got a gold for that. Thank you. Come on. You know what? Those can go away, because I'm not going to use them anymore, because I got my... I can give that to my puppy. Yeah, let's see. Do-do-do. Anything else I can sell? No. <laughs> yeah, I can always buy the... Whoa, eventually I can. Let's see. <laughs> oh, let's see. I might, I might give the keeper of Arlathan to Morrigan. Why do I have ice arrows again? Let's see. Look at the tomes. Oh, I have to backpack. Thank you. I could be nice and give this to Sten because <laughs> the butterfly sword's so cool. But I don't want to make him hate me. What am I doing? That is not my inventory. Oh, yeah. Give me my pup pup. Pup pup. That's not my pup pup. That's my pup pup. Boop. And now we gotta wait for 
three Even million your years. Are folk, indeed. Let's see. You know what, Roland? I'll go to give you some better armor. Swoop my helm. Are you telling me that? Are you saying that his armor is actually the best I can have right now? I was going to say. Give me my fox stuff for you. That is just so weird. Mm -mm. Give me two Kaikan and see how much. Three Constitution. Six attack and six armor, you know what? Just give me. I'm like going through so much inventory. Okay. Come on. You're gonna almost look exactly like Alistair, but no. Bam! <laughs> and let me go to Kaiken. Give him this. Then we'll sell all this stuff. Yay! You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Good to have you along on the road. Something you need? Hmm. Okay. It did not. I did not double click out. Whoa. Never mind. Before I, uh, I don't want to give Alistair his mother's amulet quite yet. You know what? I'm doing it. YOLO. Even though they're like best, all best friends right now. Boop boop. And it's like, eh. But, YOLO. Here you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> this, this is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? These things are a copper or a dozen. So, what? Did you buy it? It looks just like the one I used to have when I was at Redcliffe. <sighs> yes, I... No, wait. Don't be stupid. I got it at right click in the study. Oh, the owl study? No. Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. Hmm. And he repaired it and kept it. He's a kid. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Perhaps you mean more to him than you think? I guess you could be right. We never really talked that much. And then the no. way I left. Thank you. Mm. I mean it. <laughs> I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. You're never stupid. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. But now you do. Do you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. 
I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. <laughs> of course I remembered. You're special to me. Is this the part when the music starts and we begin dancing because I'm game? <laughs> Where's the minstrel? <laughs> we have a Liliana. He's so good. He's so adorable. Let me just see who all leveled up. Alistair hasn't yet. You have, I know that. You haven't. You haven't. You haven't. Sten has. You know what? I'm just gonna. Whoa. You're already at 30. Well. Give him his beleaguer. Because I'm not using Sten much, but. Yeah! Time to talk to Roland for the last four minutes. <laughs> Hi, friend. Yes? What can I do for you? Of course. Oh, wait. It's not that. I'll be here. I'm almost tempted to talk to Alistair, but I'm afraid if it activates that one scene. I want everybody here. Something I can help with? I like to talk. Let's yes. see what's down there. What's on your mind? Never mind. Hmm. Well, I was planning on getting to Denerum. But apparently, time's like, nope. I just can't wait until everyone levels up. I wanted to. I'll just be on the screen so we can see the awesomeness. Morrigan looking creepy, but still awesome at the same time. Roland standing in front of Sten and seeing how tall the Kunari is compared to him probably creeps him out. Liliana's face being covered by Morgan's stick. I'm going to keep calling it a stick. Oh, that's, that's what I was going to do. What was I going to do? I forgot. Oh, yeah. Do I still have that weapon? Yes, I do. What is he currently holding? Hmm. There you go. Hold that nice and safe and tight to you, Alistair. Oh yeah, I was going to enchant my two daggers. Sandal. Sandal. Give me your cute littleness. Enchantment? Enchantment? Enchantment! He's so good. I love Sandal. I love... S oh. I sold my runes. Creepy. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Good to have you along. Let me see. Where is that? I want different runes. What is it? In? Ooh. I like having lightning and ice for some reason. It's just like. Oh, I can't afford it. Um. Um. I don't need lesser. I can always buy this back. Might I just... <sighs> I don't know why I just sold all that just to get a stupid rune. But I 
love my fr my ice and lightning. That's my timer going off, so I will enchant my dagger off screen, and we w I will probably see you either on the way to Denerum or something. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you leave a like, you'll have a fabulous day.